Hi friends, MD Vegan. Finally I make a video with that about this dressing, this new dressing I made. It's a chili cashew mayonnaise. And I used it now in some videos uh, with the recipes, salads and so on. I thought, well, <clears throat> this is maybe the perfect combination of ingredients and so on, the measurement and so. So I got it up down. The other recipes were all good. But I changed some small things here and now after a while I can make a video dressing, a dressing video with only this video, a dressing, this recipe, and then I can use it in other recipes and just link to, the, to this video to show you this dressing. is a cashew, there's a cup of cashews, the good cup. Here's the healthy cup, it's a little bit more, you see, not so precise, cashew nuts. And the base for mayonnaise in general <clears throat> is fat and sour. Yeah, it can be different kinds of sour. The fatty part, the other fatty part, after the cashews, is an avocado, a small avocado. You have a lot of cashew and a small amount of avocado. That makes it, gives it a fluffiness the mayonnaise is famous for. It. A little bit fluffy mayonnaise. It's something nice yeah, for a mayonnaise. And sour, this half a lemon. It's a quite a larger lemon, not a tiny one, a medium. And I know I can't use so much lemon. Or sour in the mayonnaise because mayonnaise has to be more gentle the flavor hot it can be but sour that would ruin the flavor I would say so with with fat a lot of mayonnaise and uh, avocado and cashew <clears throat> and a small amount of sour only that's how I like a mayonnaise at least I don't think if there are sour mayonnaise I don't think so I'm not so sure but it's more gentle the flavor <laughs> yeah, so this is the base of the mayonnaise, and now I make this do the seasoning. I have several mayonnaise recipes, all different. This is a, will be a salad mayonnaise, so a little bit more runny. But the flavor here is also very easy. I said the chili mayonnaise, so I have a teaspoon of hot chili powder. This is a bird's eye chili, the kind of chili you choose. It's up to you. Medium is hot uh, chili, uh, bird's eye chili is medium. From 1 to 10, it is 5. Now they have more than 10 even, but this is a 5, so you can touch it, you can easily use it. It's still fresh and fruity. Uh, hot chili, hot chili is fruitier, it tastes better, but you can't use it anymore because it's too hot for small quantities, small amounts. But the bird's eye is a medium, that's okay. And I have a larger amount of salt, that's a tablespoon almost. Well, two teaspoons maybe, let's be correct. And you now chili and salt. Yeah, it's all hot and salty and you can take pepper but this is a chili mayonnaise and then I have something very special for mayonnaise it's oftentimes it's just a little garlic and onion and I have garlic powder and onion powder because you have this nice oniony flavor garlicky flavor without the hotness now when you have it fresh it's very hot and you can use a fresh garlic clove here but when you want to use onion I rather would use um, onion powder because a blending of fresh onion can be very hot, very bitter, unpleasant. You can take a very small amount of, of onion, you can, you blend it. When it's too large, it ruins the whole flavor. That's why I use these powders. I make my own onion and garlic powders. You can find videos about that on my channel, but um, here, um, if you don't have the powder, you don't want to make it or s purchase it, you can also use a small uh, garlic um, clove or a very small onion piece, but you don't have the full onion flavor then. It's too small. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it's too hot. So, seven ingredients here and a little bit of water to start. we we'll give it a cup. Yeah. I make a little dressing ahead of time, put it in the refrigerator, and I can use it all the time quickly to make a quick salad. So blender dance, let's see. That sounds 
as if everything is broken down, especially the cashews. Um, avocado is easy to blend. You take too much avocado, the texture, the overall texture gets a little bit unpleasant, <clears throat> not so smooth and even. It's a little bit cloudy then. So a nice a small amount of avocado as compared to the cashews because that makes it fluffy for mayonnaise, very nice. But when you um, um, take too much, I guess that's too much then. Yeah, so that's something you should be aware of when you make it, try it yourself. I will taste it now. It looks okay, it's a little bit too thick. That's fine. It's just the first blending. Now the cashews are broken down. Now they begin to soak very fast once broken down, but they don't have the, the, the perfect texture for the dressing yet. I have to do second blending, but that's a good chance now, the option to, to taste it and to season if there is something missing or so. So let's taste it. Looks nice, yeah. It's a nice creamy uh, mayonnaise texture. That's good, basically, but let's see if I need more of something. Mm. Oh, awesome. Tastes wonderful. Could use this mayonnaise. Ah. Yes, the onion and the quick uh, garlicky flavor is already there. That's so makes it mayonnaise so nice though. Round it's a complete, yeah. Onion makes it complete. Garlic also a little bit. This earthy like completeness that comes from the onion and from the garlic. So <clears throat> I could use that mayonnaise. One more blending, of course, for recipes where you need a thick mayonnaise, but for a um, salad mayonnaise, a little bit more runniness. I'll add some water. So it's a wonderful combination of flavors and the measurements are okay. Maybe adding some water will make it a little bit um, less tasty. Uh, it tastes so nice now, but let's see that. Let's see. One more blender dance. Texture looks perfect from the outside. <clears throat> yeah, it looks very nice. That's how I like it. A nice amount too. Mm. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. It's a very nice flavor. This chili hotness is there. I tried with cayenne, to be honest, in one of my recipes, really. Honestly, I prefer chili. It's almost the same. There's a little difference. Sometimes I prefer cayenne, sometimes I rather have chili. With this mayonnaise, it's called chili mayonnaise anyway, so if you have only cayenne, you can take it. But the small difference is there and I prefer chili. But, but look at it, it's very nice. Um, if you want to have a little bit more salt or so, well, it's always a very personal thing. Yeah, but here it has a wonderful flavor. You see the texture is beautiful too. It's creamy, it's runny at the same time. That's how I want my salad mayonnaise. See, it's a beautiful. Just to show you what it looks like, how I store it. I will, um, I will take out the rest later, just for now, to show you that's, that's enough, sufficient. Yeah, chili mayonnaise. Yes, chili cashew mayonnaise. Yeah, that's how I call it. And um, you find the other videos of the garlic and onion powder and so you find it under under underneath here in the in the other under the video you find the links um, but it's easy to make you just grind uh, or you chop or you blend onions and then second uh, batch of garlic put it on a, um, in an oven or in a um, air dryer or something and then you, you have the powder very fast and you break it down, crunch it and have a powder that uh, can store forever, very a month or so, a year or so, whatever. Very nice, very easy. You can also purchase it of course, but you can make it yourself and taste, it's tastier, I tell you. If you make it yourself, it's tastier. It's my experience. I like to make myself, my, <laughs> my own uh, garlic and onion powders. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Next I'll be, have new recipes um, coming with this dressing. 
Yeah? And I'm looking forward to present them to you. Now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe at Emily Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.